All right, guys, here, <laughs> here we go again. Hi, welcome back to another Blue Archive video. My name is Lace, and today we don't have a gameplay video. We don't have a guide. Instead, we have a drama video because um, whilst I don't like drama, I do think that drama is at least fun to talk about. It's a little bit of gossip, you know what I'm saying? It's always fun to see people like fighting or white knighting or like protecting the company, attacking the company or the game, etc, etc. Because it just reveals like a very, very human component to all of this like game development stuff. And so with that being said, buckle up your seatbelts and I'm buckling up mine because I am prepared for all of the dislikes and downvotes that we we might attract here. But I do want to preface this with the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty moderate, pretty average Joe. And so yeah, in this video, I'm going to give you guys the context of what what exactly is going on as well as well what has come out of it all right so let's kick things off with this reddit post over here i'm sure you will find a whole bunch of other sources on facebook or on twitter etc but in a nutshell this pretty much sums it all up blue archive is censored in the global version and so let's have a look at what exactly the censorship looks like for you guys who don't know this character this is alice or arisu or aris which is absolutely mind-blowing honestly like outside all of this controversy I think that Nexon has their priorities wrong. Like, why couldn't they even get Alice's name right? Like, on her gun, it literally says Alice, but they, for some reason, called her Aris. Anyway, anyway, let's get back to the controversy at hand. So here we've got Alice, and as you can see, Korean and Japanese versions. So this is what the screen looks like when we uh, kind of, like, encounter Alice. And then I'm just going to scroll down, and you'll see this is what we are getting. Whoops, sorry. We are getting this one for the global version, including the Asia server. So I can confirm this one. I am on the Asia server and yeah it's um it's uh, yeah you could call it censorship I think for me the biggest problem about this one is like they they literally just zoomed in on the picture and this one is blatantly more like pixelated than this one over here like this background this picture over here is clearly way more high res than this one or rather this one is like so very clearly low res I don't know if you guys can see it on the video but I'll definitely link this in the description but whether you decide that censorship is okay or not like because of their ages or whatever like this is just such a lazy attempt at censorship if it was allowed anyway so it's this picture that really started all so like people were expecting this because this is what we got on JP and this is what we got on a global and so honestly this has set off like quite a fair bit of uh how do we say this it has impacted a lot of different areas let's um Let's start by looking at the reviews. So as you can see here, Google Play, we've got a two star out of five star for the app store. Oh wow, okay, it's um it's down to 1.9 star. And as you can tell, that is um that is a pretty, pretty big massive review bomb for the one stars. So I think a lot of people are starting to do just like the two star reviews because a lot of people keep they keep insisting that app stores delete one star reviews. So yeah, I've followed like so many review bombs at this point, like PGR, etc. etc. And a lot of people like are starting to do these two star reviews, which is actually kind of smart. But yeah, just looking through some of these comments, you can pretty much see what the really issue is. Like you see developers promise no censorship, but the newest update of one of the favorite characters was clearly altered, blah, 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 blah. And honestly, this is like technically true because in one of the earliest videos, so I'm just on the Blue Archive official YouTube over here. And so if you guys can see, oh, you guys can't see that. Let me uh, make this smaller for a second. So if you guys can see this one over here, I believe it's the PD interview where they said that they will try to bring they're pretty much looking to not censor anything i think this is where a lot of it began because like <laughs> It's hard, right? It's a hard one where they make a promise and they uh, they probably intended to go on that promise. But then two months later, they appear to do a 180 and it just, you know, it's even if it wasn't a censorship issue, they kind of like say they want to do something and then they kind of, you know, backtrack on it pretty hard. Whether you support the censorship or not, it's like it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth for sure. And so, yeah, that's the interview that all of the comments and stuff are referring to. So if you have a look at this broken promises, they lie and censored the game when they said they wouldn't that is it on the other hand in the apple store it's not looking too bad i did see apparently like it did drop to two st uh 2.2 stars at one point but i'm not seeing that one right now so app store for like the apple ecosystem they may be safe for now anyway so that's where we're at with like the situation so we did have a couple of different updates first of all we had the thai support translation from somebody who did actually go ahead and email the support 
support. And so this is the reply that they did get. So do the game open global version. So essentially what they're saying is that in a lot of the different countries that they release Blue Archive, because this is a global release, a lot of countries do have the child protection laws involved and so therefore they are looking to censor content and they are probably going to keep doing that in the future. And they're saying that if they don't do these things like there are going to be issues. So in my opinion the issues primarily are probably going to be like age rating issues. I do know that Kakao Games for Guardian Tales did try something similar very very recently. They tried to like censor a little bit so that they could drop their age rating. This could be the strategy that Nexon are going with, I don't know. But that's just a response from the Thai support and what do we have next? Uh, we have the uh, response. There's bad boy right here. All right, let's uh, let's open this up. So the PD has actually responded. They've done a letter for us. And so let's quickly skim through this together. But honestly, I don't have enough time in my day to actually read through all of this. But essentially in the first part of it, they were like, oh man, there are a lot of different uh, regional situations, uh, AKA these like child protection laws or potentially these like age rating stuff for each of the different countries. So it looks like I think that they just went for a blanket approach. So old mate Yong Ha Kim actually references his own interview. I couldn't keep my word in the last interview which resulted in disappointment. Honestly like as much as you trash on these guys for the censorship or whatever like it's it's kind of admirable that they had the balls to put out a notice like this. So after that he goes on to say in addition I would like to share you the official stance for future censorships. Uh, this is really important because like a lot of people are concerned about this if I go ahead and show you guys we do have some like how do I say a more uh, visual very a little bit looter characters coming along such as the bunny girl series such as we got Asuna we had Karin just then we got the Azusa swimsuit there are definitely going to be like the swimsuit series characters especially as we approach summer and honestly like this is probably one of the places where I can be a little bit less neutral because I do agree I'm honestly a pretty big fan of these like themed ones like I didn't honestly like Karin that much but I do quite like this current uh, alternative and so I don't know the extent that they're actually going to censor it I hope it's not too much if they do decide to anyway moving back to this one over here essentially uh, TLDR because that's a lot to read they are saying that they are going to continue doing this so if I scroll down a little bit in the future we will update such modifications to preserve the original intention as much as possible on top of that it is true that because every region has different service circumstances inevitable modifications Notification requests can occur. It's really not up to interpretation. They are quite clear on their stance. They are most certainly going to continue this censorship or the modification or however you want to put it. So that is the latest update. I do believe this letter came out like two hours ago. And I think it's time to talk about, well, how exactly I feel about all of this. I'm gonna start off with like the most obvious topic on hand. Is this going to kill the game? No. The reality is, is that as much as boycotters or as much as people who hate the game or whatever, Doom posters, etc. What I have learned over these last few months or even these last few years is that if the core user base is still quite big, it is not going to die from something like this. My case in point was Punishing Grey Raven where like they had this whole fiasco at launch, a whole bunch of like, oh, we expected to get this costume for free, but we didn't. So in a nutshell, a global thought that we were going to be getting this costume for free however it turned out like um we had to play some gacha for it and in the end it was inevitable to actually spend some premium currency to be able to acquire it and then it went on to get review bombed to like a 1.9 or whatever very very similar situation to blue archive but the reality is is that last month or even all the months leading up to even now they've still been bringing in like 1 mil revenue or whatever last month was 800k 800k honestly is still quite a good amount stuff like this or like stuff like censorship like I just think that the average player just really does not care about this kind of stuff I don't mind censorship let me put it that way but again this is a personal opinion it's just that I prioritize other things right like I really like the tasteful stuff so I'm talking like the Ark Knights or like the alchemy stars this kind of stuff doesn't really bother me but if they are insisting on censoring like for me at least do a good job about it looking at this low quality picture down here I'm just like man 
<laughs> this freaking we went from like 1080p down to like 360p however that's my priority like to be honest i still quite enjoy the game and if they are still flooding us with like temples i i am probably going to still play the game i believe to date i think the global version has actually been more generous than the jp version so i'm talking like uh all of these currencies as we come out with these new patches as well as the events and all of the pre-registrations again it might be honeymooning but i personally have done like an insane amount of roles and honestly if they keep up this pretty insane income i personally me personally i wouldn't mind like stuff like this if they would make it more high quality if they keep doing like really lazy censorships then i'm kind of like man it's kind of cringe i don't really want to play but yeah at this point for me it's kind of like whatever and so you guys can already tell i have an ulterior motive here i'm just going to sit back and watch the complaining happen and if they give us a free temple for it i'm going to be like ha 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 uh, I win this time. As for the people who are like affected by the censorship, I guess, uh, that's a tough one. If you truly do think it is unbearable, then I probably would recommend either jumping ship probably to like Azur Lane or or GFL or Nike or like Destiny's Child and stuff like that. It's hard because like I don't think that they are going to be uncensoring or decensoring. There are certainly some games which have included like an unofficial patch where they decensor the entire game if you do some certain steps. I don't think that Nexon is going to do that. I don't think that Yong Ha Kim is going to allow something like that to exist. And judging from their stance, I think they are going to keep censoring. And so yeah, if it unfortunately does bother you that much, I would say it's probably better to just cut it off now so that you guys don't spend too much money and go play a different game. A game that is probably more aligned with your interests, let's put it that way. On the other hand, if you guys don't care about the censorship, then... Uh, I mean, like, you guys are probably like me, like, straight chilling and just looking for those 10 jemmies, right? The 10 rolls. But yeah, that's my take on it. Like, honestly, I really hope that they don't censor the upcoming ones. Like, I'm a pretty big fan of, like, a lot of the future skins like this one, as well as the Bunny Karen. And I would be pretty devastated if these were censored, like, really, really hardcore. So yeah, that's it from me. And so let's start talking about how you guys feel. And I can already feel it. I can already feel all of the downvotes or all of the comments coming. Guys, please don't hurt me. I am just a boy. I am just trying to play my gacha games, you know? But that being said, I do want to ask you guys how you guys are feeling about this censorship situation. Are you guys upset by the censorship? Are you worried about the future characters like I sort of am? Or do you really not care and you're more playing for like the casual nature of it, for the nice gameplay, stuff like that? The one last thing that I do want to say about this one is that it is really like blemishing Nexon's attempt at trying to create a better reputation for themselves. I think this is going to be a really tough situation because it gives a lot of people like the ammo that they wanted to doggy pile on them anyway it's time for you to let me know how you guys feel about all of this situation so let me know down in the comments how you feel and if you do i would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until all the way to the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but otherwise please consider a like if you did like this video and if you would like to see more please consider a subscribe but as your girl swimsuit as once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye